Hey guys, what's up? In this video I'm going to be showing you how my summoner witch works with piety runs. Alright, first things first. Let's go over some gear. Uh, the Chober Chabber is really helpful as well as the Sid Her Breath. Um, I'll just hover over these items. I don't really need to talk much about it. My helmet, I definitely need to upgrade, but this is the best I have for now. Safel's frame is pertinent. Uh, your minions will not survive without it. The reason being is the block chance applied to spells along with this necromantic agus. The bonuses from the shield apply to the minions, which means that they get block chance and the resistances. I don't benefit anything from the shield. Um, basically you want to get as much item quantity as possible and where it's not possible get rarity. This arm is okay but preferably I want an armor slash evasion based. Then I have Anvarius. Elemental resistances are hard to get because the only thing that can give it to you is your helmet and your chest piece and your offhand ring if you're not running two Anvariuses. Oh, also your amulet. Alright, on Switch I have Reaper's Pursuit. It gives me 30% rarity. Now, this item, what I use for elemental resistances, unfortunately has a 20% reduction in rarity of items. So, when I'm about to cull a boss, I switch, and that gives me 50% extra rarity. I also pop my Divination Distillate. But the fact that I'm a witch makes um, flasks 30% more effective, which is why I chose witch. I was a scion before, but life is hard to get on a witch. The first thing you want to do is go to a very low level. I go to the mud flats and normal. You want to equip your chober and the amulet. That's very important because it gives more speed, damage, and life to minions. So once I get my six, now for the zombies, I have minion life, multi-strike, item rarity, and raise zombie. It's pretty nice. You may not want to use multi-strike, but I find it kind of effective. Next thing you want to do is go to Lunaris Temple in Merciless. Because for specters, the level of the corpse does matter. So, let's put the auras on. Purity of elements, grace, vitality, determination. And you see my defensive stats, they're okay. They're not terrific, but yeah. I need to bump up that lightning resistance. But as you can see... <clears throat> well, I'll show you with the Reaper's Pursuit. I'll show you my, uh... Now, 54% quantity, 232% rarity. Now, my regeneration is so fast that I have to spam my curse. So that mana. the uh, flask effect lasts longer. 
as you see it's 86 293 that's pretty damn good it's been uh, making me pretty wealthy off of piety oh that was e <laughs> that wasn't even with the right amulet hold on 86 336 pretty damn good all right let's get some burned miscreations be a little tricky at first <coughs> but stick with me you want to be very careful because your zombies don't do that much damage they're the tanks they're what takes the damage all right that looks like um, Cole could be in there that's a typical spot where he spawns Looks like I may have to go through there. Yep, there he is. Unless you have your burned miscreations, you're just gonna get owned. The trick is to kill before uh, enemies can do much damage. All right, let's kill one of these real quick. All right, I got a miscreation. Let's run around and hopefully he uh, turns on his unrighteous fire. He did. Okay, at this point it's very simple. Let's go to the other corpses. Now, oh, I can hear Cole. So, you want minion damage on one, switch it out for area of effect and spawn the second. I put this back here because I like to level it. Yeah. Alright. Now I should be able to get this other one's aura up real quick and then I'll kill Cole. Yep, there we go. Let's kill Cole. Just an example of how much damage these guys actually do. It's pretty damn good. See, I'm not rich at all, but pretty good. Then I switch, pop, uh, the um, potion. Pretty easy. Okay. So, I'm going to do a quick run just to show you how this works out. But first of all, I want to show you the skill tree. So, <coughs> excuse me. You want to get life for your minions as much as possible. My next steps are to get maximum life here and damage. Because I'm, I'm trying out damage. See how fast I can kill piety that way. So you go up around here. If you need the strength, take it. This is important. Reduced mana reservation. I like the chaos resistance, so I do that. This is pertinent. You cannot survive without this. Um, here we go around here. Again, mana reservations, because you need to run the four auras. Um, iron reflex is very important. Get a little bit of life. Resistance is this nice. Um, in late, late game, I don't know if I'll ever get there, but I'll try to get some of these after I get all my minion properties. I also have this. I might look into that as well. Um, elemental equilibrium is very important because I use level 1 arc. When I hit those guys... The burn miss creations are going to do 50% more damage because it reduces their fire resistance by 50%. Also, I use a vulnerability, which is great for the burning. Um, over here, uh, some aura stuff, some uh, damage, 
a bit more life. <clears throat> I'd like to get that eventually. And then these guys right here. So that's my skill tree so far. Still playing around, but let's do piety run. See how easy it is to like kill these guys. Like before you can even curse them, they're dead. And I'm level 75 right now. I've been about this strong since about level 65. The only gear you absolutely have to have is Sephel's frame. <clears throat> oh yeah, my gems here. I have portal with arc and chain, so I can obviously do equi elemental equilibrium to more guys. Um, minion life, multi-strike, item rarity, ray zombie for the zombie. Determination, reduced mana, vulnerability, vitality, grace, purity of elements, reduced mana. Uh, lightning Warp, Reduced Duration, Blood Magic, Faster Casting. This is to get it around. It's pretty nice. Um, now this is the important part, the Burned Mist Creations. Uh, hopefully I'll get a 6 link eventually, but... Increased Burning Damage, Item Rarity, Minion Life, Minion Damage, Raise Spectre, and Resistance is going to be nice eventually. Now for this, this doesn't matter. I just do this to drain my mana while the potion effect is on. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, let's keep going. Look at this champion pack. Nothing. They're, they're fried. This is a really good way of gaining experience as well as currency. The goal is to not get uniques. The goal is to get a steady supply of rares which you can also use for the chaos recipe. And that's, you slowly get chaos orbs that way. And it works quite well. Now I need to make sure these guys activate. That's the only hard part. Everything's about a bit uh, rough until that happens. Oh, one activates, that's good enough. Oh, Chaos Orb, nice. And now quantity does affect currency drops, which is nice. I usually just like to walk around because I'm trying to level a little bit. But you can blast through here in two minutes and get the piety in two minutes. If you want to. You don't have to pay that much attention, just don't get hit by um, the tentacle miscreations. Some people like to call them titty bitches, but. <laughs> They hit hard, especially when you're cursed with vulnerability. Just let them take all the damage. It's usually a good idea to stop for um, rares and blues mobs. Alright, so this, this these ladders always lead up. Check out this rare. Done in like two seconds. Yeah, you want to avoid that. Just move back and forth and it won't kill you. As long as you're moving around, they'll continue to do area damage. So basically, you can just run around like crazy, and you'll be fine. <clears throat> it's a 
a great way to level up some gems as well. I've gotten a couple exalted orbs doing this run. I mean, it gets repetitive, but you know, piety drops about 15 rares and usually one unique each run. This is solo. If you were running in a group and you were calling, the screen would be full of rares. I don't bother popping the potion unless uh, my piety just waste time. Waste time switching and this is not how you're going to get your wealth. I'm just doing this because I like, I'm leveling up. Oh, I went the wrong way. The way with the one cart is always the correct way. This character is still a little weak because it really should have around 3,000 HP. My minions are pretty strong, though. That's what you want to watch out for. Don't just stand there when they're attacking. Too much pressure. You guys die fa too fast anyway, so popping the potion won't even work. Oh, sea jacks. I like to chance those. You never know. I might get a soul taker. You get pretty used to where to go after you do it a bunch. It's slightly different each time, but you'll know where doors can spawn. Um, when you're first starting out, you're gonna want to take it slow and just. Kill him one at a time. I'm pretty used to using this character, so I just run into groups and I'm fine. But if you're playing on hardcore, you're not gonna want to do this. Alright, I usually pop a portal outside here. And here we go with piety. I always destroy the blue portal. Has first. no one managed to kill you, my exile? Then it seems <clears throat> you've earned my personal attention. Aw, oh, shit. You kidding me? There's an exile. Hold on, guys. This is actually the first time it ever happened. This might be a little tricky. I'm not used to that. If she gets to a blue portal, just take cover. <laughs> I don't usually have to be this careful. Yeah. Pop 
helicopter. God damn. Say what I mean? Those hurt badly. Here we go. That's about what you get each time. Thanks for watching. Take care.